Hey everybody, No Guts No Glory here. Welcome to my channel. Gonna do a quick review on these, on this Tina, Tina's Cantina Handcrafted Breakfast Burrito. Some of you had wanted to know, because a lot of you who have been with me for a while know that I usually always buy the El Monterey Breakfast Burritos, and they have a variety of them, and I really like them. But one day at Walmart, I had seen these. They are $2 and change cheaper than, than the El Monterey, but yet have the same quantity of burritos. So I thought, oh, save a couple of bucks and still get 12 in a package. So let's let me go ahead and let you know what I think about them. First of all, you can clearly say, see the package says... Uh, let's see. It says egg sausage and cheddar cheese. There you go. That's what you're going to get, right? Not so much. All right. First, comparing apples to apples. The outside of the burrito compared to the El Monterey burrito. I like the way that Tina's looks because it looks more authentic with the lines in it and just more homemade compared to the El Monterey, which is just like, just plain white with no lines, no, doesn't just, doesn't look homemade. Okay, then biting into the burrito. Now comparing spices. El Monterey to me is a little bit more spicier than the Tina's. Uh, granted, the Tina's is good, it does have good flavor, it does have good spices, but the El Monterey has a tad more than the Tina's. Now, when I bit into the first one that I had had, you can see it does have a lot of egg, it does have a lot of cheese, and sausage, a lot of sausage. Okay, so there, that's good, right? Because it says that's what it has in it. But when you read, and I found this out afterwards, because I took my first bite, and when I bit into it, I had a wad of potatoes. And I'm thinking, potatoes? Why do I have potatoes in there? You guys know, have been with me, I despise potatoes in my breakfast burritos. I just don't like it. And bam, right off the bat, that's what I got. So I'm thinking, wait a minute. Did I misread something? No, I didn't, because it doesn't say it right there on the package. But when you read the ingredients right there, it says potatoes <clears throat> as one of the main ingredients. So, you know, cooked sausage. Let's see, what else? Uh, cheddar cheese. Um... And then it says, I think, cooked eggs. So see, it's one of the main ingredients. So I called Tina's. They have a phone number on their package. They have an email. Well, I take that back. I first emailed them. And I took pictures of the package that shows, you know, this package here that shows that it is just egg, sausage, and cheddar cheese. And then I took pictures of all the potatoes. Oh, it, about a week went by. They never acknowledged my email. So I emailed them again. Again, didn't acknowledge my email. So finally, I emailed them again saying, does anybody, you know, read your emails? <laughs> finally, I got a call. Uh, and she told me, <clears throat> excuse me, that according to the FDA, um, potatoes also, as far as allergen goes, because they take that very seriously, they said, she said, which is great. Because I had told her in the email that if I had been allergic to potatoes, that would have been really bad for me, but it would have been really bad for you too. So she said that according to the allergies that are out there, Potatoes is not listed as one of the high things people are allergic to. Granted, it's not to say she said that they're not allergic to potatoes, but it's showing that according to FDA and allergies and all that, that it's not one of the highest. It's not even really listed. So I said, okay. 
And she said, but if you read the ingredients, one of the main ingredients is potatoes. So when she was all done, said and done explaining to me, I told her, I said, I totally understand where you're coming from. But the thing is, if it's one of the main ingredients, as you just stated to me, then it should be stated like that on the package as well. Because the other main ingredients are eggs, sausage, and cheese, yet those are displaying on the package, but yet the potatoes, which you just stated was one of the also main ingredients, is not. And I think that should be on the package as well, if it's one of the main ingredients, like you had said. So she agreed with me and told me she would pass that along to their marketing department and see whether or not they would make those changes. So to compensate me, which I told her it was no big deal, she had said, it's okay, we, we wanna make it right. So she's sending me a couple of $1 off coupons and then a coupon to get, cause she said that they make burritos as well. So she says, if you find our burritos, I'm going to send you a coupon to get a free package of our burritos. And I said, okay, thank you very much. I'd like to try one of your burritos, uh, regular bean burritos, not breakfast burritos. So when I get that, I'll try one of those and see how those are instead of this but right off the bat letting you know and i told her too i understand that a lot of people read the ingredients but some people like myself that day there are days you go shopping you don't have time to stand there in the aisles in the frozen section and read every single ingredient that is inside the product you just don't um so that day i didn't have time but I went, I went by what was based on the package, just saying egg, sausage, and cheddar cheese, and was got surprised by potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go, guys. That is my review on them. They are good. Just know that there are potatoes inside it. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Some of you have requested for me to do a review on these burritos, and so here it is. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Remember to always let go, let God. No guts, no glory. God bless us all. Bye, guys.